In the depicted video, an individual with a perplexed expression approaches a seemingly random porch, clutching a plastic bag and a roll of toilet paper. From the moment he steps onto the porch, his uneasy and fidgety demeanor becomes apparent, signaling that there might be something peculiar about his behavior. Upon the homeowner responding through the closed door, the man evidently struggles to articulate his identity. As his face approaches the camera, it becomes apparent that his pupils are significantly dilated, serving as a confirming indication that he is likely under the influence of drugs. Uh, uh, this is, um, uh, my name is James. When questioned by the homeowner about his intended recipient, pay close attention to the name he provides. This detail could offer crucial insights into the nature of the situation or reveal potential inconsistencies in his story. What are you looking for? Uh, Sosa. Uh, Sammy? The initial name he offers is Sosa, followed by a repetition of Sammy, Sammy Sosa, akin to the famous baseball player. This choice of name might suggest a spontaneous attempt to create a fictional acquaintance, possibly indicating a fabricated story or a quick, improvised response. What's your name? James. And who are you looking for? A friend of mine. No friend of yours lives here, buddy. And I got a Glock over here ready for you. So if you don't get the fuck off my porch, I'm going to unload it on your fucking face. Get the fuck off my porch. All right. The motive behind his attempt to enter the house remains uncertain, adding an element of unpredictability to the situation. This ambiguity is often the most unsettling aspect of such encounters. Fortunately, the homeowner demonstrated prudent judgment by engaging in communication through the door before considering its opening. Upon detecting the man's suspicious behavior, the homeowner wisely conveyed the presence of a potential threat, whether or not he actually possessed a gun. This assertive approach effectively compelled the man to distance himself from the front door emphasizing the importance of maintaining caution and assertiveness in such uncertain circumstances. In this disturbing video uploaded by someone residing in close proximity to the potential victim, captured by a ring camera, three masked individuals armed with weapons approach the front door of a house. The foremost person in the group appears to be carrying what seems to be an assault rifle. Notably, the masked individual approaching the door repeatedly attempts to obstruct the camera's view with their gloved hand. Although there is no audio, it appears that they are contemplating whether to persist with their attempted break-in, possibly influenced by the presence of the doorbell camera. The one with the assault rifle seems hesitant, exhibiting signs of apprehension in their body language. However, one of their accomplices gestures for them to return to the door several times. Unfortunately, due to the camera being covered by the person's glove for a significant part of the footage, the specific actions of the intruders remain obscured. Fortunately, the homeowner exercised caution and refrained from answering the door, preventing the three armed individuals from gaining entry to the house. The unsettling incident took place in the LeMay household, captured by their ring camera on a cold December night in 2019. During this disturbing event, a stranger managed to hack into the LeMay family's ring security system, granting him unauthorized access to observe their activities within their home. This intrusion lasted for nearly 10 minutes. Even more disturbingly, the intruder not only watched the family, but also interacted with eight-year-old Alyssa. The extent of his intrusion became more apparent as he had access to a second system 
positioned in the babysitter's room downstairs. The intruder exploited this access to create audible disturbances, such as playing music, reaching all the way to Alyssa's bedroom, which she shared with her babysitter. This violation of privacy highlights the importance of securing and regularly updating home security systems to prevent unauthorized access and protect the privacy and safety of the residents. Young girl, Alyssa, became aware of the intrusion when she noticed the blinking blue light from the ring camera in her bedroom. The situation took an even more sinister turn when she heard a strange man's voice speaking to her through the camera. Alyssa had to experience such a traumatic incident. In her attempt to understand where the voice was coming from, she checked her surroundings picking up toys to identify any potential sources of the noises. Tragically, the situation escalated when the man started screaming racial slurs at her repeatedly. Faced with this horrifying experience, Alyssa responded by screaming, likely out of fear and distress. What? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Subsequently, the man instructed her to call her mom using the racial slur and demanded that she repeat it back to him. Shortly after, when Alyssa asked who he was, the voice responded by stating that he's her best friend and Santa Claus. Who is that? I'm your best friend. I'm Santa Claus. I'm, I'm Santa Claus. Don't you want to be my best friend? I'm Santa Claus. Following these distressing events, the man attempted to influence the girl by suggesting that she had the freedom to do anything she pleased, even encouraging her to break things in her room. I'm your best friend. You can do whatever you want right now. You can mess up your room. You can break your TV. You can do whatever you want. The LeMay family, residing in Memphis, Tennessee, intended to use the ring camera to monitor their daughters while they played. However, the alarming reality unfolded when the camera was hacked within a few days of installation. What makes this situation even more chilling is the uncertainty surrounding how long the intruder had access to the device. The most unsettling aspect is the potential for the intrusion to continue unnoticed if the hacker chose not to produce any audible signals through the compromised device. Imagine being in the shoes of the young girl, hearing an eerie song in her bedroom with no knowledge of its origin, only to discover it emanates from a camera system set up in her room, realizing someone might be watching. The footage, captured around 3 a.m. on a man's ring camera, presents a mysterious and unsettling scene. While not much additional information has been shared, several conclusions can be inferred from the observed events. The video begins with a masked woman seemingly attempting to enter the man's house. However, her attention is drawn to the doorbell camera, prompting her to stare into it for an extended period, nearly 40 seconds. In a disconcerting turn of events, she puts on goggles and adjusts her mask, evidently attempting to conceal her identity as much as possible. Before leaving, the woman makes several hand gestures towards the camera, adding an element of mystery to her actions. As she departs, she turns and appears to retrieve something from behind one of the walls of the house. The lack of further context intensifies the enigma surrounding this peculiar and unsettling incident captured by the ring camera. As she slowly retreats from the house, it might be initially assumed that she is leaving for good. However, a closer look reveals that she continues to pace back and forth in front of the house until the video reaches the two-minute mark when the doorbell camera stops recording. Remarkably, after the video concludes, neighbors reported seeing the woman lingering outside the house, 
for an additional 20 to 30 minutes before eventually disappearing. The identity of this woman remains unknown, whether she's a potential stalker, an ex-girlfriend, or someone entirely random. The question of her motives for approaching the owner of the house remains unanswered. Adding to the mystery is the fact that the woman took deliberate measures to obscure her identity, donning a mask, goggles, and adjusting her mask during the encounter. The profound question of why she chose to act in such a manner may linger unanswered, shrouding the incident in an unsettling sense of ambiguity.